Kyrandia 2. Here we go. Oops. Wait. I always forget that I... There we go. <laughs> I always have to, um... Disable the Kyrandia source when I do Arcade Spirits, because otherwise it captures my whole... It captures stuff that it shouldn't capture, and I don't know why it does that. And then I always forget to re-enable Kyrandia when I start streaming Kyrandia. But, that's okay. A brief... A brief, uh, setback, I guess? I don't know. Whatever. Good evening, everyone! We are playing... Oops, what have I done? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Lost my window for a second. We're playing Kyrandia 2. Again. And there's my chat window. And it looks like my frame rate is behaving, so hopefully we won't have a repeat of last week. <laughs> my, <laughs> my boyfriend is making happy gestures. Because <laughs> he was very, uh, very earnestly trying to help with that problem last week, and I appreciate it. Um, what I should do, actually, is um, I should switch back to a uh, five, my, um, the other mode of our router, the five gig, and see if that, um, see if it remains fixed. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Raviolin. Capitalism ho! No, wait a minute. <laughs> Alchemy ho! <laughs> okay. So, when we left off last time, we were, uh, right. We just hit the we just reached the center of the earth, which is, uh, where we're supposedly going to find an anchor stone, which will, uh... Um, I can't believe the path is so poorly marked. An anchor stone, which will, um, help us fix the problem of Kyrandia disappearing. <clears throat> Gertz, Ermagerd, Gertz, sir. <laughs> hmm, a vent. So the center of the earth is cool looking, it's, although it's also full of lava, and that's usually not a pro not a good thing. Hey, pickle dog. But look at these cool crystal growths and caves and shit. It's very cool down here. This, I think, this is. Probably one of my favorite areas of the game, just based on, like, just how it looks. It's, it's just cool looking. So we can go left or right. Let's go left. Yeah, uh, there was a version of this game that didn't have voices. Um, I think the... Hey, that must be the door to the altar. I think there was, like, a floppy version and a CD, CD-ROM version. And I think the CD-ROM version had voices. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, I could be... I could be wrong about that. Yeah, uh, Volcania Surface was last time, yeah. And we we did the whole, like, nonsense with all three of the uh, the tour guides. I said I wasn't going to do it, and then I did it anyway. <laughs> hmm. More rocks, more vents. I wonder. Yeah, sand dollars, seashells, and starfish. Look at that lava river. I want that Shouldn't there flask. be blacksmiths or something? More of my lab equipment? There, flask. Also, a dinosaur. Uh. Look at that lava river. No, I'm trying to. Uh, uh. Well, that dinosaur is blocking our path. Mr. Triceratops is blocking the way. And yet, somehow, we can take this rock. <laughs> hmm. Locked. Hmm. Locked. 
I love this. Like, there's water pouring into the lava. <laughs> and then this. Where is it going? <laughs> it's funny that that's not animated, but eh, whatever. So, dinosaur is blocking our way to the uh, to the door there, so we'll have to find a way to get it get him out of the way. Oh, and there's this thing. Maybe the steam could be harnessed. Lump of lead. Ah, we know what we can do with lead, right? We can turn it to gold. Poof! I've got to get that door open. Too bad I can't buy anything with this. What's with all the lead? Heavy. Nothing in this flask. Have we kept a starfish for some reason? It doesn't look like a fish to me. I'll bet I could jump on his back, but I wish I had something to use for bait. Another dinosaur. Because apparently dinosaurs live in the center of the earth. Yeah, this bit's fun. <laughs> hmm. Our good friend the stick. And another lump of lead. Maybe this fellow could break down the door. Can I have that piece of lead, please? There we go. <laughs> that was some fiddly little fiddly pixel hunting there. And another rock. I'll need something to steer him with. Good thing I'm far away from him. Good thing I'm far away from him. Crystal palm fuzz. I don't know, like, what is this and how are you supposed to know, th know to take it? <laughs> like, who, who gets fuzz from a palm tree? Good thing I'm far away from him. Fuzz. <laughs> fuzz. So if we go over this way, we have a way to jump on his back. Let's try that. I'm sure we'll be fine without anything to steer him. I'll bet I could jump on his back, but I wish I had something to use for bait. I'll need something to steer him with. Eh, we'll be fine. Whee! Aww. Splat. <laughs> Bit pyramid! Thank you, Reviolin. Fuzzy Corgi. <laughs> That's so cute. So yes, jumping on his back is not a good idea unless we're, pre unless we're prepared to do that. I'm sad he doesn't just eat us, though. <laughs> he, like, he like smashes us against the wall. Maybe this fellow could break down the door. But he does not eat Xanthia the pancake. Hmm. More rocks, more vents. I wonder... And another rock. Lots of rocks down here. Hmm. Those rocks on the ceiling. Hmm. Black pebbles. Hmm. Black pebbles. Another lump of lead. This one is uh, rather interestingly shaped. What does that look like to you? Find a good place to put it where you actually, where you can actually see the shape of it. I like this dinosaur shaped, dinosaur head shaped rock here. These might do something. These might do something. Do you like to play fetch boy? Do you like to play fetch boy? Hmm. Black pebbles. We apparently can't reach. These might do something. Yep. Hmm. More rocks. More vents. I wonder. So I should probably uh, should, as as a uh, as a uh, for context for that question, uh, I should um, show you another potion potion recipe that we haven't made yet. 
And it's this one, the Teddy Bear Potion. Kia Sleepy Time Magic. Fuzz, Heart of Gold, two black pebbles. Mix and cauldron fills one flask. So we have the fuzz already. Um, there are black- Look like just what I need for the Teddy Bear Potion. Yeah, so the black pebbles up there. Hmm. Black pebbles. Which we apparently can't take, because we can't reach them. But... Yep, a lot of the stuff in this game does involve just gathering ingredients for potions and then... Well, first figuring out that you need to use a potion at all, then figuring out what you need to make the potion, and then making the potion. Right, and like, just kind of... In the course of exploring each area, you'll pick up um, a bunch of random items, and then if you just compare those the items that you're picking up to your recipes, you'll go, oh, I guess I need to make this potion here for some reason. Um, okay, so actually, hold on. What we need to do first is... Do you like to play fetch, boy? Because apparently this dinosaur is a dog. <laughs> You know what dogs like to do? Let's play fetch with sticks. Here you go. Stick! <laughs> He's so cute! Go get him! I'm tired of this game. Aw, I'm not. I can play fetch with that dinosaur all day. But what we needed to do was get him to uh, knock some of these stalactites down so it would block this vent and then cause this vent to blow higher. I just wonder. Yeah. I just wonder. He's our good, good dino friend. These rocks should work for the teddy bear. Perfect. It's too bad I don't have the, uh, the floaty shoes anymore. Why am I carrying this around? These might be worth something. Do you like to play fetch, boy? Alright, so now we almost have everything we need to make the teddy bear potion. First we need to do this. Boop. Now it's a heart of gold. Gold is really doing me a lot of good on this adventure. <laughs> so, fuzz, heart of gold, two black pebbles. Boop. And boop. A lovely blue potion. Nice cobalt blue. Aha! It had a teddy bear in it. That's adorable. Yeah, that's a nice shade of blue. He's so cute. I don't think he'll want that. I think he will, but the trick is you need to, um... Oh, maybe not. Wait. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Um... Wait. What is the trick with this? Oh no, I think you just have to jump on his back at this point? Am I doing this wrong? I don't think he'll want that. I don't think he'll want that. He will though. I'll bet I could jump on his back. I think she just automatically does it. Yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> It's a little confusing because it's like, I made this whole teddy bear thing as bait, and then she's like, I don't think he'll want that. Except he does! You just gotta, you know, not use it the way the game is implying that you need to use it. Yeah. Um, oh, so I guess the whole point of that was to take this, to grab this piece of red cloth. Maybe the steam could be harnessed. My poor dress. Which I didn't even see, actually. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me see something. Um, 
Let me do that again, because I, I didn't I didn't even catch where she grabbed it from. I'll bet I could jump on his back. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so the whole point of that was to grab this piece of red cloth from there, which I didn't even... I totally forgot that's where it was. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna save again. Um... Does she even have a thing? Did she say something about it? Yeah. My poor red dress. I could use that fabric. Okay. Yeah, so the whole point of riding a dinosaur is to get a piece of red cloth from her previous outfit. And then, yeah. And then the whole point of the red cloth is to get this dinosaur out of the way. Although it looks like he's in the, he's out of the way now, doesn't it? I remember this part This part of the game was a little glitchy, if I, if I recall. Let me see if it'll work properly here. Hey, Brainiac. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Slap. Kick. Ow! That dinosaur does not give a single fuck. But apparently, all the dinosaurs in this game act like... Perhaps this big boy could force the door open. Act like animals, and you have to sort of figure out which animal is which. This one happens to be a, um, bull, I suppose. I bet he could open that door. Yep. <laughs> there we go. I've made it. I've found it. Hey! Hey, watch it! Bimbo. <laughs> Come on and try. I think you're a chicken. Xanthia! Thank goodness I found you. The real problem has nothing to do with these foolish anchor stones. Marco? What do you mean? And how did you open that portal? Hurry up and get in here. We've got to get up to the wheels of fate. That's why everything is disappearing. Whoa! Marco! Say, he's cute. Ta-ta! Oh no. I think it's time to give Fawn yet another buzz. Xanthia to Fawn. Xanthia to Fawn. Fawn, what's this about the wheels of fate? And where's Marco? Marco and the hand just left. Big hurry. Open another portal. I've got to come back. Sorry, no more blueberries left. Great. What's this about the wheels of fate? Up in the clouds, past the enchanted forest, the Corandia wheels are stuck or something. Swell. I'll start heading that way, but you go look for more blueberries so you can open another portal. I don't want to have to walk the whole way. Spoiler, she's going to have to walk the whole way. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fawn is burning my house down. <laughs> Only one stone per customer. I love this room. This is so cool. I just, oh, I just love it. I love this. This giant fucking anchor. Like emerald That's anchor. That's one huge anchor. With a big chain wrapped around it. I don't know, something about that is just really cool to me. And Marco dropped this piece of paper. Hey, this is another page from my old magician school spell book. 
I'd better put it back. Yay, more potion recipes. An anchor stone. Also, yoink. Reminds me of the fisherman. What's that new potion we got? Here we go. Party favors potion. Silver statue, rainbow stone, domino. Mix ingredients in cauldron to produce whistle. Blow whistle to create favors. Fills one flask. And playroom spell. Perform a good deed. Polish a statue. Rescue a small animal. Plant a tree. The more you do, the more you'll receive. Not a potion, but just a, a thing to do. Did you get to that potion tree thing? What potion tree thing? Hmm. More rocks, more vents. Oh! I the potion wonder. tree thing. Uh, no, we have not gotten there yet. I know the potion tree thing you're talking about. Alright, so... Um, yeah, that's not until, like, right near the end of the game. But um, I've, no I've said before that um, it's important to keep to, to pay attention to the colors of the potions as you make them. Um, the potion tree thing Nevik Link is talking about is why. Well, <laughs> I'd better hurry up to the wheels. It'll become more obvious when I get there. Um, so okay, so there's a reason I've been carrying around these all these rocks and these and these vents are important. So let's go, let's start popping the rocks on the vents. So look at this thing here. It's bubbling now. I thought it did. Um. Mm -mm. We'll, we'll 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 see when we get when we get there. And as I fill more events, this thing. Gets a little more excited. Those vents have to be the answer. Oh, the soundboard one. Oh, maybe that doesn't work. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Alright, so another vent. Woo! It's very bubbly. I think there's a vent in every room, if I recall correctly. Oh, maybe not. There's not one here. Maybe one of those vents could blow me up to a ledge. There is one here, I think. Ah, here we go. I keep thinking there's five vents, but I think there's only four. <laughs> I like the music in this area, too. There we go. Look at that. That looks very promising and also dangerous. Surely nothing bad will happen if I do this. Ah! How does this not kill me? Ouch! I need a stunt mystic. This outfit is a little delicate for the rough terrain. And Hiker Xanthia. This is another cute outfit. It's very simple. Just a tank top and shorts. Hmm, another flask. Which somehow did not get shattered. Boy, I must have been falling faster than I thought. Yes, and these trees. <laughs> not the softest landing pad in the world. Some lumberjack must have been busy. Is that granite? Hmm, flint. Must be sandstone. Did you guys drop this pine cone? You can have it! We'll make more! <laughs> she does. This, this outfit reminds me of, like, um... Makes me think of Lara Croft. 
Excuse me, can you give me some directions? Yikes! Are you the new lumberjack? What? Do you know how I can get up to the wheels of fate? Where's your axe? I am not the new lumberjack. Say, if the new lumberjack wanted to get up to the wheels, which direction would you send him? <laughs> oh, so you're a sneaky lumberjack. Sheesh, and I thought the high moon guards were stupid. <laughs> Do you know how I can get up to the wheel? Where? I am not the new lumberjack. All right. Well, these trees are being very unhelpful. Are you trying to trick us? Not really. At last, a real road. Twigs. Hmm, that's too wet. You'd think that knight would have an axe or something. Isn't this Richard of Gladstone's mascot? <laughs> that would be a Lands of Lore reference. Richard of Gladstone is the uh, the king in that game. Hmm, moss. Hmm, more moss. Ah. And this is a rolling stone, because a rolling stone gathers no moss. Therefore, if you take the moss off the stone, it becomes a rolling stone. Maybe I could scare those trees out of the way. Are there gophers up here? Must be union gardeners up here. What's this? A sandcastle? Must be un must be union gardeners up here. A walnut. Like that. Hey, look at this. Pinecone, walnut. That looks familiar, doesn't it? From the, uh, the first Karandia game. Must have been peas and architects. I love this screen, too, just because it's, like, so weird and, like... So I've said before that I have a thing for floating islands and also, like, architecture like this that's just, like, very, like, askew and strange. Bridges. Like bridges to nowhere. <laughs> Don't tell me there's a sewer system up here. Wow, what old glass. You'd think that knight would have an axe or something. Ah, snow. I ought to smack that knight right in the kisser. I have armor. You have shorts. <laughs> Do you know how I can get past those trees in the road back there? Oh, they're famous. That's the petrified forest. Ha ha ha. Get it? Because they're scared. How do I get past them? They weren't always petrified, you know. So, how do I get past? They used to be a dance team. The Swinging Saplings. Alright. Perhaps you've heard of them. Can't say I have. How do I get past them? They weren't always petrified, you know. Hey, hey. Do you mind? <laughs> what a gentleman. Thank you, but I don't want to cross back across the bridge. That's rough. We all have our jobs to do, though. <laughs> Really, I just want to walk across and keep going. Boy, you're bitter, aren't you? How, why, why do you say that? Please? You're welcome. I'm just happy to help. <laughs> really, I... Boy, you're bitter, aren't you? This is stupid. Stupid. Oh, 
All right, little boy scout. This is getting really ridiculous. Let's keep doing it. <laughs> Definition of insanity. I wish this Boy Scout would find somebody else to do his good deeds to. <laughs> I could do this all day. And so could he. I, I wish this Boy Scout would find somebody else to do his well, good let's see deeds if, let's to. Let's see if I can smack him in the kisser. I ought to smack that knight right in the kisser. I wouldn't if I were you. I have armor. You have shorts. <laughs> Do it anyway. I ought to smack that. I, I have armor. You have shorts. All right, fine. You want some twigs? No, thank you. I'm on duty. There Nervous are. trees in the highway helper. Nice world. Okay. Let's see. Um, all right. So one thing we need to do. It keeps going and going. Oh, great. Now I've got pitch on my hands. I hate walnuts. <laughs> A cute miniature lawn. Walnuts are yummy. What's your problem with walnuts, Anthea? Please don't do that! Hmm, Flint. So yes, if you if you take this rolling stone and you um, smack it against this rock, this flint rock, it'll create a spark. Please don't do that! Maybe I could start a fire with this flint rock. I hope this works. Cool. Unfortunately, that wasn't really enough to scare the trees away. Aha! Charcoal. But charcoal is good for something. And once again, we're we're gathering ingredients for a potion without even really being aware of it. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Snowman, regular. Fills winter fun. Snow, charcoal, moss. Mix ingredients and cauldron. Fills four flasks. Must be cold weather. All these mystic toll puzzles are starting to annoy me. So we have snow. And we have charcoal. And we have moss. Must be cold weather, so... Maybe this twerp will listen to reason. Wouldn't that be a welcome change? Please? You're welcome. I'm just happy to help. Look at that cute potion. Unfortunately, that's not the right place to use it. <laughs> yes, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, Hugo Z. Hackenbush. Dr. Hugo Z. Hackenbush. But if we go like this... It's not super obvious, but the knight is just like an empty suit of armor. You can see it when he like 
when he like stretches out his arm um, to like. You'd think that knight would have an axe or something. To uh, to escort Xanthia over the bridge. He's just an empty suit of armor. Maybe I could scare those trees out of the way. But yes, that's how to get the knight out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Is that foot some sort of livestock? I don't believe I'll eat any milk products here, thank you. Ew. Yeah, things get a little strange. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you're, you're not wrong. Those, those guys look pretty busy. Those guys look pretty busy. Those guys look pretty busy. So that's just a foot. A, a giant disembodied foot hopping around in a circle. First a hand, now a foot. I wonder if they're connected. I wonder indeed. My, what a dented statue. My, what a dented, my, what a dented statue. My, what a dented statue. So it's not at all obvious what to do here either. Oh, but I need An that. acorn. Thank you, I'll take that. Um, but, um... So, polish a statue, rescue a small animal, plant a tree. Polishing a statue is um, what we want to do here. But it, there's no way to really know that the statue is made of lead, apparently. <laughs> All that we know this is that it's, it looks like stone to me. Because, you know, statues are usually made of stone, right? But for some reason, we can do this. <laughs> What does this box have to do with that statue? Yeah, we could use the alchemist magnet to polish the statue. I don't know why. <laughs> Even the dents look shiny now. A magic drum. A Frank Klopaki special. Frank Klopaki is the uh, composer for this game. And for, uh, I think, a lot of the, uh, the, I think for Westwood in general. One Jack. No more toys. Drums give me a headache. These were smaller when I was a girl. So, you know how much it sucks to step on a Lego? Thanks for the help. He is rather slippery. What the heck is that? A wild foot or what? This is the foot of Balram, an ancient and evil wizard that lived in a galaxy far, far away. He perpetrated one hideous crime after another until finally the forces of justice banded together and launched an astrobomb that blew Balram and his evil planet to bits. The planet was evil too. Dang. After centuries of drifting in space, Balram's parts have begun to land. Gross. We have one of the feet here and have reports that his nose landed in Miltonia. That's where Jessica's from, the redhead. By themselves, these parts aren't actually too dangerous. What we really have to watch out for is his left hand. That vile appendage will certainly head for the wheels of fate. and try to erase some innocent realm. Oh dear. In order to provide Balram with a suitable void in which to reassemble. Oh dear. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. 
So I think that's entirely optional, um, doing that with the jack and helping these guys capture the foot. But that gives you some very important backstory. And, uh, kind of clues you in First on what's... First a hand, now a foot. And what's really going on here. I wonder if they're connected. Do you know how to get past those goofy trees? Sorry, they've been there as long as I can remember. What are you going to do with that foot? I don't know. Maybe we'll keep it as a pet. Gross, why would you do that? Please, don't you have a spell I could use? I have to get past those trees. Sorry, have you tried an axe? <laughs> I would if I could find one. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe we'll keep it as a pet. All right. At last, a real road. Have fun, guys. Have fun with your, with your pet foot. Yeah, totally. I, I absolutely love the Carbandia games. I'd like to games. be able to get past these trees. Well, I love the first two Carbandia games. The third one I do not love. But I'm going to be playing it anyway after I'm done with this. Uh, let's see. Oh, um... Do we plant a tree here? I think we plant the tree here. I'd better not lose this in the hole. No, maybe not. I'd better not lose this in the hole. I'd better not lose this in the hole. Okay, but what we can do is... I'll put this on the stump. This. Maybe this will loosen them up. Excellent. This tram will work out nicely. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. It just kind of makes them look completely different now. That was kind of weird to me out how, like, guys could just, like, just, like, wait a few days and you look completely different and then shave off your facial hair, this you look completely to be different again. Up. Yeah, I, I just, I don't, Knuckles Revenge does not have the charm of the first two games at all. And Malcolm is just not a, a he's not a good protagonist. <laughs> Hello, Klutz64, belatedly. It it kind of does. <laughs> Although coming up is one is my one of my favorite parts of the game, just so, just from the music alone. Hey, I wanted to ride the tram. Sorry, today is long lunch day. Hey. Please, I have to get up to the top. Sorry, I have to take my break. Couldn't you make an exception? The other squirrels would be upset if I deviated from our union policy. That's good. Don't work through your break. Is there something I could offer you? Sure. Stop trying to corrupt me. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. You tell her, squirrel. Couldn't you make- The other squirrels would be upset- Aha. Alpine floor. I must be getting close. Hmm. How can I get this tram running? What's this? A hitching post for unicorns? Why uh why is today Miku Miku Day? I've seen it I've seen that elsewhere. I don't I don't uh I don't get it. Hmm, I wonder who lives in there. I hope those towers weren't made by the same contractor who built this platform. <laughs> Oh, thanks! A pinecone tongue sticker! <laughs> Acorns? Yuck! I hate these! <laughs> cool! Payday! See ya! But how can I use the tram? Hey! Ah, that's why. Okay. Neat. I kind of, I always figured it was like she, because she was created on this Maybe day or something. Maybe I could just climb up the cable. Aha, uh -huh. I must be getting, those must be mountains. <laughs> you don't say. I forgot that you, I guess you don't actually plant a tree. <laughs> I thought there was a way to do that. 
Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm mixing it up with a different game. So what we actually need to do here, instead of bribe the squirrel, we have a perpetual motion machine right in our pocket. I sure hope this works. I like that. I think that's, that's, that's a cute puzzle. Just like the rolling stone. Whee! <laughs> Ah! Oh god! You'll pay for Shit! I'll teach oh no no! You. Mark, what is that hand? Crap, I Dun accidentally... I guess I'll have to climb the rest of the way. Shit, I'm sorry. I accidentally... It's too cold up here for this outfit. Clicked past Wish the... I'd... I lost everything climbing that cable. Rats. Hang on, I gotta redo this. Dang it. Okay. I accidentally clicked when the uh, cutscene was starting and then of course it sped through the whole thing. So I'm I'd gotta like redo to be all able that. to get past these trees. Sorry, no, it's, be it's because I accidentally clicked the mouse at the wrong time, so we'll have to do that again. My fault. I'll put this on the- maybe this will loosen them up. So we'll just skip that. <laughs> Excellent. This tram will work out nicely. Hey! Sorry, today is long lunch day. Yuck! I hate walnuts. So I think, uh, let's see. Can I just do this now? Or? Please don't tamper with such okay. valuable equipment. Okay, so I do actually have to get him to leave. Hmm. How can I get this? Oh, th a pinecone tongue sticker. <laughs> cool, payday. See ya. But how can I use the tram? I sure hope this works. I'm not getting in there while that rock is bouncing around. Okay, I will not touch the mouse. <laughs> Here we go. Ouch! <sighs> You'll pay for this. No, he'll, he'll accept everything. But you have to give him all three. I'll teach you to toy with my trust. Marco! No! Stupid hand. I hope he's okay. What has that hand done to the tram? I guess I'll have to climb the rest of the way. Dang. Cynthia has some serious upper body strength. It's too cold up here for this outfit. Wish I'd brought my skis. I lost everything climbing that cable. Yeah, Cynthia's buff. This song right here, my favorite track of the whole game. Alpinia. Alpinia? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he, he'll, he'll, he complains about all three of the nuts you give him, but you have to give him all three to get him to leave. Cozy. And you can do it in any order. Ooh, thank you, I'll take that feather duster and that broom. Cozy. What a beautiful child you have. Neither one of us talks to strangers, thank you. Sorry. I'm not strange, I assure you. Oh yes you are. <laughs> Do you know where the rainbow bridge that leads up to the wheels of fate is? Go away! Jerk. I'm not strange, I... <laughs> Leave him alone! What a drooler. Leave... What a drooler. Baby. What a charming lodge. Excuse you. What a charming lodge. Excellent. 
I should be able to get some climbing gear here. And a flask. Yoink. This looks like an anti-submarine device. I despise macho taxidermists. I despise macho taxidermists. I like how it, 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 it caws when I click on it. Hey, that's our equipment. Hey, that's our equipment. Is that a unimoose? <laughs> I'd like to see a cow kick this over. And when the cow kicked it over, she winked her eye and said, It'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Fire, fire, fire! <laughs> what is this stuff? Musk, apparently. I, I have no idea what this is supposed to represent. Like, I think, I thought musk was like a liquid. I don't know what it's what, 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 what is it? I don't get it. These guys look like cousins several times over. I don't need any more of this. But apparently it's musk from a musk ox, I guess. <sighs> Cannonball. Yes, I'll take one of those. I'll take two of those. I'll take three of those. I wish this was hooked up. I wish this was hooked up. Is this full of monkeys? When did this get invented? Hey, that's our equipment. Hey. Poor bear. I'd like to skin these jerks. <clears throat> hey, that's our equipment. Boy, I'd kill for a pancake right about now. Mm, pancakes. <clears throat> I prefer waffles, though. Could I borrow that rope? <laughs> Them's <clears throat> man supplies, darling. Oh, really? Surely you wouldn't refuse a traveler mm. aid. We'll need that rope ourselves to tie up the abominable mm. snowman. Mm. He's a mighty dangerous critter, I hear tell. Oh, really? Please, mm. this is an emergency. Mm. I need some climbing mm. equipment. As soon as we get up our courage a mat more, mm. we'll go out and get the vicious varmint. Mm. And maybe then you can borrow our rope. Sure. And when will that be? Surely you will need. He's a mighty dangerous. Can I buy some climbing equipment from you? <laughs> what would a little lady like you want with such a thing? I don't know. Maybe to to hang you off the side of the mountain with it. I need to climb up to the wheels of fate. Sorry, we're going hunting ourselves soon. Please, I really need some climbing equipment. Tough. We're after the abominable snowman ourselves. Mm. I need mm. to climb up to- Sorry. We're going hunting ourselves soon. Would you like a broom? We don't need any help from you. We don't need any help from you. Fine. Mm. Have it your way. Hmm. This looks like the way to the wheels. This way is up. This must be the way up. I wish I had some climbing gear. This way, this, I wish I had some climbing gear. Unfortunately, we can't actually go this way. Boy, this cliff is too slippery to climb without special mountaineering gear. Boy, this cliff is too slippery to climb without special mountaineering gear. So we're going to need to go about this a rather roundabout way. Uh, so we're going to start by doing this. No, thank you. By turning that ca one of those cannonballs to gold. We actually only need one, but I took, I'll take all three of them just because I could, and because those guys in the hunting lodge are jerks. Everybody on this trip has been grumpy. Don't give him that! So if you give her that, then she just, like, stands around staring at it and trying to pick it up. I guess greed can destroy anybody's values. But, but importantly, she stops paying attention to her kid. What a sucker.
which means I could steal his steal his lollipop. Your dentist will thank me later. So once again, we're collecting potion ingredients, uh, and I believe it is ah this one. So abominable snowman. Yep, exactly. Like taking candy from, like taking the proverbial candy from the proverbial baby. <laughs> I know it's mean, but it's necessary. I'm trying to save Kyrandia, okay? <laughs> One crying kid is not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna stop me. Uh, okay, so abominable snowman costume sm spell: snow, musk, feathers, sugar. Could it be my attitude? So fortunately, there's snow to spare around here. Yeah. Let's uh, go somewhere else so that I don't keep listening to the baby crying. So, snow. Musk. I still don't know what the hell this inventory item is supposed to represent. Weirds me out. Feathers. Dusty feathers. This thing's heavier than that anchor. Hey, I'm an alchemist, not a witch. <laughs> Whoever said taking candy from a baby was easy. Voila! Abominable snowman potion. Now they're gone. Good evening, ATM machine. Oh, hey, and now there's like a free log pop in there in the uh, hunters in the hunting lodge for some reason. In case you want to make another potion. Uh, let's see. I forget if um. I think you get a different effect if you do it in here versus doing it outside. I've got to climb up to the rainbow or whatever. This might be more convincing All if right. they didn't watch me drink it. That's right. Except you don't want to drink it, you pour it on your head. Yog Lodge. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Roar, I'm an abominable snowman. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the real abominable snowman, and he's a creeper. <laughs> Hmm, this doesn't look too good. So now here we are in the, uh, in the abominable snowman's pad. He's still into me, apparently, even though I'm no longer, uh, even though I no longer look like an abominable snowman. I know, right? We need a pie. <laughs> I do not need this delay. Is this how he got so big? Now this could come in handy. Thank you, I'll take that. What a well-prepared Lothario. Please, I've got to get up to the wheels of fate. No, no, no. I'd love to stay and chat, but I'm in a real hurry here. What a it does sound like he's speaking backwards, and I have no idea what he's actually saying. Actually, I love your outfit and setup here and all, but... Sure you are, I'm also wondering... I, 
I've also tr wondered if like what he's actually what he's saying text wise is a cipher, but I don't think it is. I'd. What of us? I'm really not into disco. Oh my goodness! I hope I don't run into anybody I know. <laughs> Cologne. Drink before Tuesday. Yeah, that that's that seems like it could be. Yeah, no, I mean the text dialogue has nothing to do with what he's saying. But um but I was just wondering if like the gibberish text meant anything. Uh but again, I don't think it does cuz I I am actually kind of good at ciphers and I don't think what he's saying it, like actually translates to anything. It is or is is code for anything must be from a mail order outfit feathers must be from a mail order drink before too bad he doesn't use this tub himself once in a while too bad he doesn't use this hmm maybe I could use that as a piton too bad I can't reach it hmm too bad I can't reach it if I just wander on out of here surely aha I know I can climb out of here. I don't know. I guess it's Piton? That branch wouldn't support Fawn's weight. That cliff is too slippery to climb. That cliff is too... That icicle is out of reach. That one isn't. And neither is that. Maybe I could use this as a python. Oh, now, now, now she says it differently. <laughs> that tickles. Smells almost as good as old lover boy. Mail, mail, mail. Hey, boy. What? That loom loom that he just said, like that, that's that's what makes me think this it might be a cipher because because that way it would work perfectly well if, if loom was no, like no no, and then whatever else he, he was saying. Actually, sure you are. I. What of us? Yeah, But there's not really anything else that I can go on with that. Hmm, could be uh-uh, yeah. I do not actually- Sure you are, dude. But I, I, there's not really enough information based on the, uh, the other things he says. Anyway, candy. Yeti yummies. So, we need to make another potion. And we're actually reusing a potion. Um, this is another example of, like, how you can kind of use different things to make the same potion. Um, you see that a couple times in this game. So we have snow, we have feathers, and we have musk and sugar. I'm not making a fool of myself again. Yeah, drinking that in front of him will probably end badly. Instead, let's go out here and do it, because hey, look who just showed up. Here come the fearless hunters. Oh, please rescue me. They're coming this way. There has to be a way out of here. 
You two are big, brave hunters, aren't you? Yep, we're crafty woodsmen, all right. This isn't the woods, I don't know if you noticed. So, you guys looking for the abominable snowman? Sure are. The snowman is inside that cave. Why don't you go get him? Well, maybe we needs a plan first. He's right inside the cave there. You go in first. We'll wait here. <laughs> yeah, real, real brave. You so what if we are? The snow... Well... You two are afraid of him. So what if we are? Really? The abominable snowman is right in there. Uh, maybe it would be safer to wait until he comes out? <laughs> He's right... You go in first. We'll wait here. We don't need any help from you. I wasn't offering any. Hey, guys. Two for the price of one. Enjoy your new friend. Snake A little fickle, isn't he? And now he just wants nothing to do with me. Busy getting his groove on with those um, other two. I feel so rejected. A little fickle, isn't he? Well, that's okay. Because all we need to do now is... I go our way out of here. Uh. <laughs> Piton or Python, whatever. However you pronounce it. We could use them. Time to, to give Fawn another call. Fawn? Fawn, how is Kyrandia doing? Not great. Big it's trouble! Everything is disappearing now. No, my house. Uh-oh. Hang on, Fawn. I'm almost up to the wheels now. I sure hope this plan works. It's all we've got. Hurry! Oh, this must be the building that houses the famous Rainbow Room. Yeah. <laughs> I only have so many walls. Can I just go back? Huh, I guess I can. There's no point, but that's cool. Really? <laughs> I kind of like this puzzle. I can definitely understand why you hate it, though. Frozen in place. I didn't think such a steep roof would hold snow. I didn't think such a steep roof... How'd they get the lumber up here? The annoying uh -oh. part of this puzzle. The rainbow machine looks broken. The annoying part is, of course, remembering where all the things are. A bottomless trash can. This weed is the famous rainbow machine. Nothing may be removed from this room. Nothing may be put on the floor. Do not reorganize the shelves. Absolutely no confetti allowed? <laughs> Nothing may be enough. Do not absolutely no confetti allowed? All right. So, yeah, this is a bit of an involved puzzle. And this is why I was mentioning earlier that you should uh, take note of what potions, what make, make what re what recipes make what color potion of course i did not bother to write any of them down so oh i'm gonna make confetti yep we are gonna do that first though um okay so one two three four five six seven there are seven um little glass globes here 
and uh, your your clue here is the rainbow machine. I hope Marco fell in a pile of snow or something. Which means we need to basically make a rainbow. So, that means we need to make pretty much all of the potions we've made so far. Um, plus one that we haven't made and that ha is not in our potion book and that the game gives you gives no indication that you need to make it. <laughs> That's the other crappy part of this puzzle. There's a potion that you just have to guess at. It's not that hard. Like there's only it only has like two ingredients. Um, but the fact that you have to do that is kind of stupid. Um, so the one I always remember is uh, red. Uh, let's start with red, which is the um, the flying shoes potion. So that's a red potion. So we want hot air, feather, snipe, and red leather. And all of the ingredients we need. I really do like him. I guess he couldn't really be you know, dead or anything, could he? All the ingredients we need are in these shells, but you have to find them. And navigating these shelves is a tremendous pain. <laughs> okay, so there's a feather. We want hot air and red leather, so we kind of have to, like, futz with the... There we go, there's red leather fucks with the, uh, the levers and buttons randomly until you find what you're looking for. I don't really know the logic of these. There we go, there's hot air. I'm just gonna take the silver statuette. As I remember, ah. this is one of the ingredients for an indigo potion. Okay, there's your hint. Tinker's Bell. It's a bunch of random stuff. Yeah. Feather. And hot air. Crystal seeds. There's a bunch of just like random stuff in this, in this, um, in these shelves too that you just like don't find anywhere else in the game. That's cool. Like, hey, every glowing fire berries. I know, I love it. I still really like this game a lot, even like, despite the flaws. So there's a red potion, and notice it says red potion, it's no longer flying shoes potion or whatever. So we can go, go like that, fill that red globe with the red potion. Uh, I don't remember what the orange potion was, but we can just, we, we don't have to do it in order, we can just make the potions. It might have been the sandwich one actually. Let's see. Mustard, ground wheat, lettuce, cheese. Okay. Ooh, we want that rainbow stone. Um, right. Uh, before we go much further... Silver statue, rainbow stone, domino. There we go. Okay, so... We have the silver statuette. Remember this one from Carandia 1? The unicorn statuette that did nothing? And the rainbow stone that also did nothing? Well, the rainbow stone was there to make to get you the silver statuette. Where have I seen this before? Hmm, a small inscription. Roy G. Biv. More gobbledygook, I guess. I guess that's a bit of a hint. A simple child's toy. Simple. I don't get it. I feel like that was a reference to something. I don't know what it was. So we'll go kabloink, kabloink, and kabloink. And it makes a lovely pink potion. My cauldron has a magic potion in it. Party favors potion, and it changes color. Look at that. Wee! A magic whistle. Blow whistle. Confetti! That was fun! I guess that rule on the sign isn't strictly enforced. Hey, what happened to the rainbow machine? So, if you do that, if you use if you make that potion, it will empty all of the glass globes. 
thus undoing all of your hard work, which is why I did it now instead of um, I hope Marco fell in a pile later. of snow or something. I think the Tinker's Bell might be the other um, Easter egg that uh, that you were talking about. We'd like to extend a special hello to maybe the Maria Del Mar, Shannon Gibson, Linda Wascom, Tammy Okahara, Patrick Stewart. Seth Mendelson and Eric Yo, Ty and Judy Kuhn, Lyle Mann, Virtual Ted, MC Crammer, Entropy and Shady Lady, The Third Base Gang, Rusty at the Garden, Malcolm the Jester, and Scotia. Just a bunch of shout outs to, to random people and a few references to uh, Lands of Lore. Okay, yeah, okay, so that's what Nevik League was talking about. There's, secret, there's a, a soundboard thing. Um, which I'd never heard of before. So yeah, and I and he was saying that um, that it doesn't it doesn't work in the GOG version. Um, so do you happen to know how to make it? Because I've never heard of this this uh, this potion before. All right, so let's remake the um, the red oops the red one since I. Candle. High quality wax. Ah, ground radish. We'll want that. We'll want the gnarly bark. There's some lettuce. There's some ground grain. We'll want this wool. We'll want this vinegar. Ooh, okay. Party favor whistle. Crystal seeds along the pop in the quill. Oh, great. I already have all those. Well, all the pop. There. Boom. Got it. Okay. Party favor whistle. There's that. Crystal seeds. Lollipop. Oops, I don't have the quill. There it is. Oh, there we go. There's a potion. My cauldron has a magic potion in it. Oh, I lost my flask. Um, Looks kind of like that ghost. Find a flask. Uh, here we go. I'm not really thirsty, especially for that. I'm not especially for that. Oh, there's a hat. <laughs> That's cool. Too bad this isn't my size. I need a flask. That I can actually empty. Oh, here we go. This one? Ow! There. That burned my tongue. Whoa! Secret potion. That's cool! Congratulations! You have found the secret potion. Your keyboard has now become a magical sound toy. Have fun! <laughs> nope, it does not work. Oh, that's so upsetting! I'd never heard of that potion before! Oh, damn it! I really do like him, I guess. He couldn't really be, you know, dead or anything, could he? That is awesome and also sad. <laughs> Okay, well I'll have to uh, I'll have to look into that and see if like maybe there's a, a later version of Scum VM that uh, allows that to work, because that's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for telling me about that. I'll have to remember that for for um, next time I play this game. <laughs> Change the music too. I like the Alpinia music better though. <laughs> I could plant these in my garden. All right, back to business. Uh. Oh, oops, I already had hot air. I guess I don't need that anymore. So, bloop. Hot air. Leather folio. And I need a feather again. Where's the feather? I don't think that feather counts. It's gotta be the quill. There it is. Uh, 
Okay. So there's that. Um, mustard, ground wheat, lettuce, cheese. Okay. So there's cheese. I guess I don't need that anymore. Uh, ah, there's the ground radish. We're trying to mix with the vinegar, make the mustard. There we go, orange potion. If I potion. fill a flask, will there be a sandwich in it? Orange! Let's see. Uh, oh, the, and the abominable snowman was yellow. So snow, musk, feathers, sugar. Let's go ahead and flush that. Feathers. There's feathers. Uh, where's the musk? Oh, there it was. Oh, and there was actual snow. <laughs> hey, there's my stick again. There is yellow liquid in this orb. There is red liquid in this orb. There is orange liquid in this orb. Okay, and then the swamp snake potion was green. That's another one I always remember. Windy woof, smell of eggs, onion, lizard tears, toadstool. So we have the windy woof, which is gnarly bark. Uh, Toadstool. Smell of eggs. Lizard tears. Oh, and we also need hot water and an onion. There's an onion. And there's hot water. Green! There is green liquid in this orb. Okay, and then we need a blue potion, which I believe is the teddy bear? I think it's teddy bear. Or was it the regular snowman? I'm upset that, you, I'm upset that we, we still can't make this. <laughs> I want to at least know what it looks like. Let's try making the teddy bear potion. I hope Marco fell in a pile of snow or something. I know one of them is like is cyan and the other one is blue, and you need the blue one, not the cyan one. Uh, okay, we're I'm out of them. I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Uh, let's dump that. I guess I don't need that anymore. I guess I don't need that anymore. No. No, it was no, it was the teddy bear one. I'm pretty sure it was te the teddy bear. Yeah. So, part of gold. There we go. Black pebbles. Yeah, if cyan does not fit in the rainbow, <laughs> you make a cyan potion. It's just a waste of time. I hope wool was that was is acceptable. Oops, no. Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> That's gotta be fuzz. That's fine. Uh, where 
Where's that lump of lead? Uh, not that one. That one. There we go. Yes! It was the blue one. Because the snowman one didn't really have a color, it was just like a snow globe. There is green liquid in this orb. There is blue liquid in this orb. Okay, so now we need to do the, the indigo potion. And I think all you need for the indigo potion is this. Ooh, purple sparkles. I'll bet this would make a nice indigo potion. I bet this would make a lovely indigo potion. Yep, amethyst and blueberry. Look at that, that's a beautiful color. I'm not in the mood for experimenting on myself right now. There is indigo liquid in this orb. And finally, we want the uh, skeptic spell. Lucky horseshoe, rabbit footprint, sweet and sour sauce, lizard tears. I really do like. He couldn't really. Yeah, it's a little be, too purple to be indigo, but you know, dead or anything. Whatever. Could he? There's a rabbit footprint. Lucky horseshoe. Uh, sweet and sour sauce, lizard tears. Oh, so we need. Okay, so keep the vinegar. Oh yeah, now that I have the anchor, I can show you what I. What I forgot to do at the beginning of the game. Gold anchor. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. Um. Wait. Okay, lucky horseshoe, rabbit footprint, sweet and sour sauce, lizard tears. Okay. So we need. Oh, I need one of those bowls. Oh, actually, oh no, it already just, just makes it for us. That's good. And we need the lizard tears, which are somewhere. There they are. Yeah, indigo is, is bluer than this. But whatever. The game says it's indigo, so it's indigo. And voila! Purple! Yay! All of that, and there's the payoff. It's a pretty good payoff, I think. Hmm, now how can I climb up on it? Thank you. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe I can climb up from the roof. Ah, oh, right. Except all your inventory gets uh, erased once you leave the room. There's no way to budge that one. That icicle is frozen in place. Frozen in place. This one came loose. Oh, man. <laughs> And yeah, and like Xanthia on the Rainbow Bridge is is like the cover art, or one of the one of the variations of the. the it's, it's, I think it's like the primary cover art for this game. This icicle might just help. But she's not in her um, red dress. She's in her like basic um, white blouse and skirt outfit. Nah. It sucks that you never really get to use the flying shoes properly. They're just a red herring. Literally red. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's fine. Hey! How dare you! I'll teach you to push me around. Whoops! Too bad the hand doesn't have a groin you can kick it in. My icicle! That's it! I've had it. You don't know who you're messing with. Watch out, Mr. Hand. 
Now I'm mad. <laughs> I always forget about this outfit, and I think I keep saying that like her um. So the red the red dress is still my favorite, uh, and then like I think the um. I'd like to give that hand uh, a hangnail he'll never forget. The underground, the center of the world outfit, I think is my second favorite. But I think this is actually my second favorite. Rambo Xanthia. <laughs> so good. This right here, this is like the money shot. <laughs> so long, Enchanted Forest. It's a long, long way to Kyrandia. Also, interesting interpretation of a rainbow bridge, because rainbows don't look like this. But it's still cool. I don't see any animals at all. This must be it. Hmm. Hold on a second. One moment. Because we're we're right at the end of the game, and I realize I don't have the third game installed, so I should. I've got do to that. find the Kyrandian wheels. Uh, where is it? Oh, right, it's under T for some reason. <laughs> the. There it is. I don't know if I will start it tonight, but we'll see. I wonder if I'll have to spin them backwards to restore everything. There we go. Okay. It's installing. Yeah, it might be. Oh, is there? Oh. I thought, um... I thought you can't get rid of your alchemist mat. Well, wait, your stick? Because the stick isn't on the screen, is it? Maybe it is. I forget. Um, let's see. <laughs> I also am forget this. Is that an atom or a planet? I love blue collar sculpture. I love blue collar sculpture. Is gyro gear loose around here somewhere? <laughs> Wow, that's hot! That doesn't look positioned correctly. I'll bet the hand bent it on purpose. Is that supposed to be Father Time? Wow, that, that does I'll bet the hand- That light beam is too hot to get past. That light beam is too hot to get past. It's too bad I can't, like, I just walk right through it and- Scald myself to death. Be good death. So this is a, uh, a case where we actually have to do the opposite of what our alchemist magnet is for. Similar to the gold tooth uh, thing with pirates. Can you throw away your alchemist magnet? Oh, you can! <laughs> well, that's bad. <laughs> I'm not leaving without my alchemist's magnet. I love blue collar sculpture. Where did you sculpture. put it? <laughs> I love blue collar sculpture. <laughs> That's really funny. You just drop it off the edge. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is hilarious. I did not know you could just drop it here. That's that's real bad. Cool. I know. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why game? <laughs> yep. Any anything that's that's uh, anything that leads to a dead end is is considered bad design these days, and rightfully so. Back in the day, that was just like, oh, you know, that's just how games were. But I think around this time is when people started realizing, no, that's actually not good. We should not do that to people. So anyway, what we have to do is this. This should do the trick. Turn the light off. I'm gonna take my bathrobe off because I'm actually 
getting a little hot in here. Amazingly. <laughs> I'm always cold. And actually, this isn't my bathroom, it's my boyfriend's. <laughs> Mine's in the wash. I'd like to borrow his. <laughs> anyway. So that light. That doesn't. I'll bet the hand bent it on purpose. That's fixed. Let's get inside. Hmm. Well, and again, background noise drowns out Xanthia's voice here. I have heard that randomity is the highest form hmm. of order. Hmm. I have heard that randomity oh. is the highest form of order. Okay, so the trick to that is you is you have to click so that the uh, the text is no longer showing, and then the uh, the voice will will work. That's very silly. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look... This one's running okay. Hmm, an empty spindle. Aha! This is the poor little fellow that's caused all the trouble. Aha! Aha! This one seems to be running right. No trouble here. I'd like to see the blueprints for this place. Hmm, and I'd like to see the blueprints for this place. This one seems to be running right. So we're missing a gear here. So we gotta find it somewhere. And where we're gonna find it is everyone's favorite puzzle. This one right here. Yes. This puzzle sucks. <laughs> the inverted towers of Annoy. Like, they're even named because... If this is the mechanics room, there must be parts in here somewhere. Because the game designers knew how much people hate this puzzle. And they, and they named it accordingly. <laughs> this isn't so bad, to be honest. I've seen worse puzzles. I'd rather do this than a sliding block puzzle. This is still annoying. Alright, so... <sighs> Freaking Towers of Annoy. <laughs> see if I can remember how to do this. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to put... We have to put all of the pieces into this uh, this uh, hole and also this hole. So I have to solve this puzzle twice. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, as long as you do it. Um, but it sucks. <laughs> it's a lot of just like backtracking and like redoing the same thing over and over again. It's very annoying. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, no, wait. Okay, no, this is good. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, so there we go. This always involves a little bit of, like, doodling around for me, but I can always do it eventually. I never get- it's never, like, so bad that I get frustrated and want to stop, because there's only, like, two places you can put stuff. Or three places, I guess, but... Hmm. This looks like a puzzle I had as a child. It's just- oops. It's just annoying. It's just busy work. It's just very unnecessary and, and stupid. Uh, okay. Alright. I got this. Uh, wait. Okay. So then we want... We want 
that to go there. Okay. And then that goes there, and that goes there, and that goes there. I there hope we go. this is the right part. Beautiful. Okay. One down. Now we're gonna do that again. We want to put everything in this one. I don't think I've ever actually like seen a regular Towers of Hanoi. Like, this is the one that I'm <laughs> more familiar with than any other form of this puzzle, which is terrible. Alright, so. Round two. Zork Zero had one. Okay. Have not played that one. Wait, really? The KOTOR games did? I don't remember that. I played both of them, but it has been a while, so I've probably just forgotten. <laughs> I've erased it from my memory. Alright. This doesn't Oops. look like the mechanics room. This doesn't look nope. like the mechanics nope. This doesn't <laughs> look like Go the mechanics there. room. Jeez. Oh wait, uh, no, okay, no, that's, we're fine, we're good. Beautiful. What? That stick again? Awesome. I've never heard of a walking stick walking around by itself. There. That wasn't so bad. If this is the mechanics room, there must be parts in here somewhere. Spare parts are always hard to get. It is a self-walking stick, yes. Hey, Mr. Stick. Are you following me? The stick. Good old stick. Yeah. It also reminds me of the, um, the gargoyles in, um, uh, Conquest of the Longbow, the ones along the, uh, the gate outside, uh, uh that leads out of the monastery. Uh, the, the one in the fens. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is where I'm gonna die a lot. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Cause I always forget what, to, what order to do things in here. Now I need something to wedge the gear back on. I'll need something with more leverage to push it all the way on. The gear isn't on all the way. I know that hand must have done this. Stick. Uh. Oh no! Kyrandia sti is saved. The stick. My poor stick. Sacrificed itself for Kyrandia. Here we go. Booya! Ow. Sweet. Uh. Oh, I <laughs> splat. Yep, an arcade sequence that I always forget the order to do things in. Instant fix by one gear turning. Yes. Oh, wait. And I think you can't now I save during to that. Wedge the gear so I gotta back do this on. all over again every time. Uh. Kyra My Let's see. Let's see if I can show off some of the other deaths. No! Oh! <laughs> Like if you don't do anything. Now I need something to wedge the gear back on. Punch. Slap. And then you run up on here. Uh, okay. 
And then... No! Oh. Okay. We'll now back. I need something to wedge the gear back on. I better not leave anything up in here. <laughs> it was accidental. Uh. Um, do I just do this or uh. Oh, there we go. Yay! Oh. How disgusting. Ripped At least shreds. Kyrandia is safe now. Sure, but I shouldn't have had to do all this in the first place. Did I hear you say, thanks, Marco, for all your help? <laughs> thanks, Marco, for all your help. And this mooch. Please stop. You're making me blush. Okay, okay. I couldn't have done it without you. Happy now? Come on, sweetheart. Let's go home. I've got two magic parachutes hidden outside. Sweetheart. <laughs> Woo, we're done. Boy, that was a close call. You said it, pal. I, for one, am never going hunting again. And we got a nice credit sequence. How many times do I have to tell you? You're a toad. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, probably not. Oh no, we're out of cheese. I don't think I have enough time for the. Uh... Let's try this earwax. It's orange. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Joe Kukin's hair by Theodore A. Vinish Morris. <laughs> Mommy! When do I get the ivy? <laughs> I think that's a reference to that song, uh, uh, Mares Ye Dotes and Doze Ye Dotes and Little Lambs Ye Divey. <laughs> Get out of here! You are a terrible scarecrow, sir. Yeah. You cut and I'll choose! No, you cut and I'll choose! Quality assurance! Woo! Represent! I still say it was derivative dribble. <laughs> Are you still wouldn't recognize I am Big Pentameter if it bit you in the arse? That may be the best sandwich of their lives. Such good music. Yeah. The Poetry Pirates. Xanthia, on Marco, Narrator, His Royal Highness Brandon, King of Kyrandia, Defender of the Kyra Gem, Vanquisher of Malcolm, Patron of the Arts, Wearer of the Sandal, and Majority Stock Owner and CEO of Timbermiss Casual Footwear Incorporated. The Hand, Michael Kukin. Apparently the hand had voice acting. It didn't. <laughs> Darkmoor Swamp. Herb Breweth Swamp Rat. Dragonfly Fisherman. Other Fisherman. Toad. Other Toad. The hand. <laughs> A different person for the hand. Morningless Valley. 
the hand. <laughs> Town of High Moon. Captain Bob. Octopus. Pirate. Other pirate. Another pirate. Squawky the parrot. Sailor. Other sailor. Volcania. Jessica, smarmy, bureaucrat, bureaucratress, ma, and pa. And the hand. Union Squirrel, Mystic, Other Mystic. Oh, those are Mystics. The guy's chasing the foot. Baby Albert. <laughs> foot! Stunt hand! <laughs> Ooh. Look at that uh, pallet cycling there. Mike and Mike. Yeah, such a nice gradient. Glenbo, Sting, Doom, Largy. <laughs> yeah. Gradient and dithering. Gotta have that dithering. Exterminator, Dark Knight, Dark Wolf. Any resemblance in this game to persons or appendages, living or dead, is purely coincidental. <laughs> yeah. There are so many, gotta use all of them. Oh shit! I love this music too. It's super creepy. Look at that familiar-looking silhouette. Oh, ominous. What could be brewing here? <laughs> yes, a horrifying thought indeed. It'll never happen. <laughs> yes, they never made a sequel. It does not exist. And I certainly will not be playing it next week. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Um, yeah, since I've only got about nine minutes left in my stream, I think I will stop there rather than start the next game. Uh, but we will go ahead and start Kyrandia 3 next week. Uh, and I, every time it's brought up, I keep saying that I hate it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, so we're gonna play a game that I don't like very much, but at least we will, I'll probably have fun playing it, just because it's, it will be, uh, I'll be playing it on stream, and I'll have you guys to make fun of it for me. <laughs> With me. Uh, and, well, actually, I, I, there are, there, there actually, one, one good thing about that game is there's a bunch of ways to do stuff, so I might be able to see some stuff that I didn't see before, so that's, that's one thing that I am kind of looking forward to, um, doing things a little bit differently than I did the last time I played. Um, but yeah, so, we will play Kyrandia 3 next week, and, uh, I will hate every second of it. <laughs> uh, Yeah. And so tomorrow will be more Arcade Spirits, and I'm not sure if I'll be streaming on Wednesday. I'm thinking I won't, um, because Thursday's my birthday, and I want to, I might be doing something on Wednesday to, like, I might be just, like, baking or something on Wednesday evening um, to, like, make, I don't know, cupcakes or cookies or something. I haven't decided yet. So, yeah, so... Probably no stream on Wednesday. Maybe I will. Depends on how much time I have. Um, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. So other than that, next week should be business as usual. Karendia 3 starting next week. More Arcade Spirits. Um, I, pr I don't know how much... I imagine there's not much left in the game um, tomorrow. So I'll probably finish it tomorrow. But I do want to do another playthrough of it. So uh, yeah. Expect to see more Arcade Spirits for some time to come. So that should be fun. I'm looking forward to more of that game. And let's see. 
who is streaming who I can raid. Who is raid playing something good? Mm, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Ooh! Taco Salad's playing Bear With Me. That was kind of a cute game. We'll go over to see him. I'm told that I should play that game, but I don't know. I wasn't super impressed with the bit of it that I saw, so. But you can judge for yourself. Taco Salad, there you are. All right, so thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for uh, enjoying Kyrandia 2 with me. And we will also enjoy Kyrandia 3 next week. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys are, are awesome. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night!